channel I hope everyone is well today in this video we'll be checking out uh, original HM2 and we'll also be comparing it against the Wazacraft HM2 um, let me show you what's inside the box let me show you my clean tone and let's get into it all right right off the back the box is much better uh, really pretty compared to the HM2 HM2 uh, Wazacraft one is Still made in Japan, it's just not as pretty box. I believe this one is made in Taiwan. Uh, but let's see what we get inside the box. Uh, see back then, you get these really, really lovely little packets going over different uh, ways to set up different products, other lineups that they had. It's really, really cool, the stuff that they used to give you in some of these uh, pedals. You also get like um, a sticker. This is a sticker. Yeah, that's a sticker. Uh, and then uh, some kind of warranty card. Um, you get uh, interesting. You get this little layout of the circuit. Let's see if they have any diagrams. Not really. They don't really have a diagram, but they do give you the power supply. Uh, I can't really read this though, so not like that's gonna be very helpful for me. Other than that, it is pretty cool though. So it's pretty clean compared how old it is. Um, as you can see here uh, on the bottom, it says made in Taiwan. <clears throat> Uh, but it is very, very uh, clean. Uh, I did test this out, um, and I noticed that this 9-volt uh, power supply, I don't know if you could see that, uh, but it is kind of burnt up. I can't really, uh, I don't know if that's enough light for you to see that. Either way, just trust me. Uh, we're going to test this one out. Let me show you what comes in the other box. All right, then this is the other HM2W. This is the Wazacraft one. So it's a really uh, boring uh, box. It does say that it is made, there was a, right here. See, made in Japan. You do get some pamphlets. So you get this pamphlet. It's just the safe use one describing how to use it safely. It's just an owner manual, which is humongous. Uh, and it goes over uh, what the standard switch does and the custom switch does. <clears throat> it also just gives you a layout of other information that you might want to know but most of the time you could just play with the pedal then you get a qr code i'm not going to give that to you because this is mine and uh i think that's so you could uh register the pedal all right so on the back of here you have a switch that has S or C. So it's either standard or you want to be in custom. So standard is just the regular analog uh, HM2. And when you click this over, I think it gets rid of some of the bass. Um, and it is more of aggressive tone. So we'll be checking that out. All right, we're going to be playing through the heavily modified Stratocaster into the Fender Deluxe Reverb Amp. Here's what my clean tone sounds like, and we'll probably just mainly just focus on the bridge.
All right, so we're just mainly going to focus on this one and then eventually compare these two. Uh, these are both in standard. Uh, and then I will show you custom at the end of the video.
we're going to have a little fun. We're going to play through the SG Tony Iommi. Um, and then I will just put on the screen what pedal I'm actually playing with. And this is in drop C. so much for coming back each week let me know what your thought is on the hm2 um i did think this holds up way better than the reissue wazacraft hm2 um but i would have to say though the custom setting does give you a little more clarity on the pedal um uh, but this one has too much of a high pitch for me um i really uh in enjoyed how this actually breaks up a little bit better. Um, I also wanted to announce that I have this giveaway. I was waiting to get 500 subs, but I'm so close. So I am over that. I am gonna send these out anywhere in the world. All you have to do is follow me on TikTok or Instagram so that I can message you and figure out where you live. Um, that is all I'm asking for you. Is Follow me on TikTok or Instagram and comment on the post. Let me know what you would do with these. Let me know what you'd like about them. That is how you enter. If you don't comment, I am not going to consider you that you entered. That's all you have to do. Um, but I want to announce that Petco is kind of taking a dip. It's kind of all over the place, but it is staying solid at $4 a stop. I know for a fact that this is undervalued. I'm holding on, not because I wanna make a lot of money. I fucking hate Wall Street and how they treat everyone that doesn't make it, any money. 
So this is betting against Wall Street. I am betting against Wall Street right here. And I'm asking you guys to help me bet against them. As we are a community, we can hold together and just raise the bar on Petco stock. So I'm going to stop rambling there. Uh, everything is in the description. And I hope all of you guys are well and you guys have a wonderful week. And that is it for me.